This video explains the condition transposition of the great arteries, or TGA for short, and its treatment. You may find it helpful to look at our video of the normal heart before watching this video. In the normal circulation, blood that is low in oxygen returns from the body in veins to the right side of the heart where it is pumped from the right ventricle to the lungs through the pulmonary artery. Blood picks up oxygen in the lungs and returns to the heart where it is pumped from the left ventricle to the body through the aorta. The aorta and pulmonary artery are together referred to as the great arteries. Shortly after the aorta leaves the heart, it gives off two branches, the coronary arteries, that supply the heart itself with blood. In transposition of the great arteries, the aorta and pulmonary artery are connected to the heart the wrong way round. This means that blood returning from the body that is low in oxygen is pumped out of the right ventricle to the aorta and so back around the body. At the same time, blood returning from the lungs that has lots of oxygen is pumped from the left ventricle to the pulmonary artery and back to the lungs. The consequence of transposition of the great arteries is that oxygen cannot be delivered to the body and unless treated quickly, the baby is unlikely to survive. The immediate priority is to ensure that at least some oxygenated blood can get to the body. When a baby is born, there is a natural hole called a patent foramen ovale between the two collecting chambers of the heart, the right atrium and the left atrium. Often this hole is not wide enough, so a procedure called a balloon atrial septostomy is performed. A tube is inserted through a vein in the groin into the right atrium and across into the left atrium. Once in the left atrium, a balloon is inflated and pulled back into the right atrium. This enlarges the hole between the right and left atria and so allows for more oxygenated blood to be pumped around the body. By improving the delivery of blood to the body, this procedure buys some time until a corrective operation can be performed. Although not illustrated here, oxygenated blood can also pass between the aorta and pulmonary artery through a small connection between the two arteries called the ductus arteriosus. The ductus arteriosus is open when a baby is in the womb, but usually closes shortly after birth. A baby with transposition of the arteries might be given a drug to keep the ductus arteriosus open until a balloon atrial septostomy or a correction operation are performed. Surgical correction of transposition of the great arteries is achieved by performing an arterial switch operation, usually in the first few weeks of life. After opening the chest through the middle of the breastbone, the coronary arteries are detached from the aorta and both the aorta and pulmonary artery are cut just above where they leave the heart. Each artery is moved and reconnected to the correct side of the heart the aorta to the left ventricle and the pulmonary artery to the right ventricle. The coronary arteries are then reconnected to the aorta in its new position. The arterial switch operation therefore results in a normal circulation with oxygenated blood being pumped from the left ventricle to the body via the aorta and blood that is low in oxygen being pumped from the right ventricle to the lungs via the pulmonary artery. Lifelong follow-up is required after the arterial switch operation. In most patients, it is likely that no further operations or procedures will be required, but in some patients, complications occur that require further treatment, either in childhood or in adulthood.